Hey everyone, it's Ben Hardy here, and in today's gonna to be reviewing a 2024 GMC Sierra Denali with the Duramax. Before we get in this video, I wanna give a huge shout out and thank you to the National GMC here in American Fork, Utah for me some time with this truck. I'm going to include a link to their website in the description down below so you can check out what they have currently. If you have any questions, just ask for David. And then on a side note, if you wanna save time and money the next time you purchase a car, link to my car buying guide in the description down below. Let's get into it. Under the hood, we have a three liter turbo diesel inline six that goes through a 10 speed automatic transmission. Fuel economy is 23 around town and then 27 on the highway with power outputs being a whopping 305 horsepower and then 495 pound feet of torque. Now, before we move forward with this video, I do want to mention if you want to see more videos just like this, then I recommend you subscribe because I post content every single day. So starting with the hood, you guys can see that it's got a boxy design in normal GMC fashion and it kind of goes up and down all over the place. And then popping down below, we've got GMC signature C-shaped headlights and then look at all the chrome here on the grill with the GMC logo front and center and you got a camera below the logo. Parking sensors here on the bumper. We also have fog lights down there and tow hooks as well. And putting it all together, this has that sharp luxury truck look that we all know and love with GMC. Now popping around the side here, our tire wheel setup is 275-50-22 in the front and over in the rear. And you can see with the wheels, you've got some silver mixed in with chrome, pretty normal look. We have these unpainted fender flares. I will say, I think those should be painted from the factory for this package. Anyways, got the Duramax badge here, Denali down below, and then you guys can see chrome on the mirror caps, door handles, and then on the side steps as well. And here is your full side view with the Denali. Now here's a quick look at the key fob. We have our unlock function or lock function remote start, the drop down for the tailgate, and then the GMC logo. Now taking a look at the bed area, you guys can see we've got protection from the factory, which is great. You got this handle to help out with getting into the bed, LED light action here. And then you can see we've got a full power outlet in the bed as well. And then this one has the multi-pro tailgate. Anyways, the uh, multi-pro for some reason doesn't want to open, but <laughs> we do have this portion that I can at least open for you guys. And when you're all done lifting this up, not too difficult. Anyways, GMC logo there, Denali. You've got the Sierra badge down below and then the C-shaped taillights here. And then look at the bumper steps and then you got these squished exhaust tips and the parking sensors. And capping things off, let me know you guys think about the looks of the Sierra. Now popping inside, we've got soft touch here at the top and look at the wood trim. And then I like this with the cowhide texture. And then down below as well with the cross stitching design on top of that. And then one of the speakers for the sound system, then you guys can see power side steps. And then here's the seats. You guys can see perforated. Also have the behind the seat storage. They're really nice look and then cross stitching design. And then once we're inside, you guys can see legroom's pretty dang solid. We got a little storage pocket there. And then you guys can see with the cup holders down below. And then heated seats, got some USB action, some vents as well. And then we of course have a, well apparently I can't pull it. <laughs> we got a cup holder armrest. And then last but not least, that room's pretty good. Now take a look at the front door panel. Again, soft touch with the wood trim, the silver trim, and then we've got the cross stitch design with all the piping and everything. All of our window controls, front two are automatic. You get your mirror adjustments, the mirrors do power fold in, memory seat function, and then blind spot monitor with the mirrors. And before I forget, 1,321 pounds of payload capacity, and then we've got 8,800 pounds of towing. And then here's the front seat, it says Denali there at the top, and then perforated all down the center again with the cross stitch design. Power adjustments here on the side, and then you guys can see we've got a drive mode select with our tow haul mode. Drive line select, so we have four wheel auto, four wheel high, two wheel high, and then four wheel low. And then you guys can see all the light controls right there, and then the controls for the heads up display, and then the steering wheel is power adjustable. Now taking a look at the steering wheel, you guys can see soft touch all around. We do have rear controls in the back as well as paddle shifters. And then we got controls for the center stack. We have our cruise control. And then this actually happens to have these super cruise. That's why you've got this little black bar there at the top. So cool self-driving stuff. Now I've got the Sierra's full digital gauge cluster here in the center, which we can use to scroll through different bits of info on the truck. And then you got a cool animation for the tow haul mode right there. It turns on the diesel exhaust brake automatically. You have a sport mode and an off-road mode as well as a normal mode too. Now in reverse, we do have a 360 camera system with this backup camera that has trajectory lines that turn with the steering wheel. And you can see out of every single angle with the truck. Um, you guys know I'm a fan of GM's camera system. I think that it's got good resolution. It's easy to use, it just makes sense. Now, moving on from that to the infotainment system, 
You've got this little like sidebar, basically, where you can scroll through your menus, and then you have the main screen here. Good response time. It's got Apple, Car or Apple CarPlay. I don't know what that was at the beginning. <laughs> to Android Auto. Shortcut bar here on the side, and then you guys can see the home screen button, or front, yeah, home screen button there with the volume control. Really nice trim here on the dash that goes across. Also, this one has a heads up display. Don't know if that's gonna pop on the camera though. And then we have our dual zone climate controls as well as our controls for the heated and ventilated seats and the heated steering wheel controls down here because of the super cruise control that takes up its spot on the steering wheel and a giant engine stop start button. Lane departure, parking sensors, auto stop start, tailgate drop down, hazard lights, stability control, hill descent control, and then the window roll down button. Shifter for that 10-speed automatic. We also have our trailer brake controls integrated from the factory, which uh, apparently don't want to show up on camera. There you go. Cup holder action, and then we've got the center console here with a wireless phone charging pad inside. Full power outlet, some USB action. Again, that nice cowhide texture, perforated leather as well. And then while we're on the topic of storage, we got a double glove box. And notice like the cowhide texture and then the nice wood trim with like the burnt effect. And then up top, we do have a camera rear view mirror, and then we have a power setting rear window. And then we've got a center here at the top as well. So here's our one sticker for this Denali uh, 2024 base MSRP 69,900. Got some options like the Super Cruise package. It's called the Denali Reserve Super Cruise, which adds quite a few options to it. 6,765 bucks. Total MSRP is 78,045. Let's see how it drives. I totally almost tripped there. Well, let's talk about visibility before you set off. Here's visibility over the hood and hopefully you can see the heads up display, both the mirrors, throw the thrust to the rear, and yes, we understand. One thing I don't like about reviewing GM cars is they all have that little, this is in demonstration mode. And so every time you, not every time, but almost every single time you start it up, it gives you the little thing and it's like, okay, lady, I don't want to hear your voice anymore. But let us set off in this Denali. Um, so as always, you know, I'll get reviews on the different GMC Sierra packages as the 24 model year progresses. We're starting with Denali, um, but you know, I'll try to get a review on stuff like, you know, SLT, Denali Ultimate, Elevation, you know, all the fun stuff. Um, first off, I will say seat comfort's pretty dang good. Um, in normal GM fashion, the seats are a little bit um, harder. So that is something to note. Do love the material use though. The texture feels really good on everything uh, inside. Good torque right off the bat with the diesel. I think that's a big benefit with this powertrain. And on top of that, let's kind of see what the acceleration is like when we get into it a bit <laughs> so much torque like it's just it never ends it, it really is it's it's phenomenal so i think that's quite impressive and then you know aside from that red quality is pretty dang good as well It's crazy how good the suspension and everything is. Of course, fuel light pops on every single time I do a test drive video. Yeah, a little bit bumpy, but I mean, it does a it does a good job, all things considered. Yeah, I like how this drives, and I love the diesel. The diesel is the highlight. Um, if you guys follow the channel, you know that I just talk about this diesel all day, every day because it's it's powerful it just it drives so well um, it really is such a good powertrain so yeah get, getting into summing things up here with the first Denali review of the 24 model year I think it drive I think the new Sierra drives really well I like the looks um, I like the features and you know pricing it is it is a lot um, but, you know, for everything you're getting in the name and everything, I mean, it's, it's nice. Like, you get, a lot of, you get a lot of features for the money. I will say it would be cool if you had massaging seats, though, with the... At this price point, I think it'd be cool that even though it's not Denali Ultimate, if it had massaging um, seats, 
But yeah, let me know your thoughts. I love the design of this interior. I love the overall look and layout and all that kind of stuff, but, and the Duramax, of course, but yeah, let me know what you think.